That was no. like a bag. <laughs> what the hell, girl? I can't believe that just happened. Sing, sing, song. Ding, 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 ding. You can. <laughs> Hello Divas, I'm Cherry West, the Red Berry of Edinburgh, and welcome to the second episode of Red Berry Reviews! Woo 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 woo! Um, I just want to quickly thank everyone for how well the first one done. I wasn't even expecting it to get over 10 views and it got over 100. So thank you everyone. Um, so let's go on to the second episode of the channel. Now I'm joined by an amazing special guest this week, all the way from Wales. Please welcome Miss Serenity! Woo! How are you, Miss Cherry West? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm better than ever. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, well, girl, it's a pleasure. I'm very excited to have you on. Um, so for a quick backstory, me and Serenity were joint winners on Pixie's Drag Race on Instagram, weren't we? Yeah, twinners. Twinners. Oh, that's that's a good name, actually. That's quite calm. <laughs> yeah. Um, so why do you tell us three things about you and your drag? Well, I'm sort of like a baby queen as such. I've been doing drag for about nine months now. Um, I'm a performing queen. Um, if you come to a serenity show, you best believe she's going to bring it. Well, I'm very excited to have you on and see how well you do in the future, because I know you're going to bring it, as you always do. You. Um, so moving on to last week's episode, let's talk about what's your thoughts on the lip sync? What's your thoughts on who went home? Give me your opinions. Okay, so obviously the top two li lips had a lip sync together. Oh wait, can I just repeat that? <laughs> um, that is so funny. Yeah. I think <laughs> <laughs> that you're making me laugh. I can't with you. So we had the top two of the week, which were Victoria and Crystal. Um, they lip synced to Total Eclipse of the Heart, Bonnie Tyler. Um, I thought it was actually really good. Really never. Um, really think to turn around. I know. Wait, is that is no? That song? That's the name of the song. Cherry is total eclipse of the heart. Oh. <laughs> they just say turn around in the song. I personally think it was really good. I think they both brought it. Um, I do think Crystal served face, um, and I think she won it just by a little bit. Yep. Um, and yeah, what about you? What do you, what did you think of the lip sync? Well, I feel like obviously we're going to be talking about Victoria more in the later to come. Um, but I think Victoria was better than Crystal. I feel like Victoria went for the comedy side of things, and Crystal went for the the more dance type of move when it wasn't really that type of song. If you get no. what I was yeah, quite I, totally excited, I was quite excited to find out what Crystal would do with a slow song, as I know she usually performs like fast upbeat songs if you get me yeah i follow her on social media and yeah she can really like perform the house down oh, um, but i totally agree with you on what you said um so with electra and anubis's lip sync the bottom two what's your thoughts who do you think should have went home um i honestly i think electra did have this one oh. ag um i do feel like she did maybe That's a bit too sure. um she, she done too much <laughs> but no, I, I do think she won fair and square. I think Anubis tried her best, yeah. um, but no, I think Electra just won that by a you know a bit more. Um, yeah, I agree. Um, Electra, did, I feel like Electra did bring it a bit too much, but it was better than Anubis's, even though she was in a gown. Which how could you lip sync to that song in a gown? So she done the best. She did to be honest. She had like this fishnet, not fishnet, like this rope over her as well. Um, I wasn't really a fan of that, but we will. Oh, yeah, I'll that. Just I didn't oh. That. <laughs> no. <laughs> I nearly choked on that. There, don't do that again. <laughs> Should we do it again? Right, right there. Go then. Well, now on to episode two. Can I quickly ask before we talk about this, 
how how hard was it for you to wait like a whole week for the next episodes? Um, I love Drag Race. I'm a massive, massive fan. Um, usually I'll watch it as soon as it comes out um, yep. on the day. Um, so yeah, waiting. I do get a bit. Oh, come on, yeah. I need I need more Drag Race. Even Same. Like we are stuff, but, well, actually, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We have the first mini challenge. What was your thoughts on this? Um, I really, really wasn't sure what to expect because yep. obviously Crystal kind of chosen to basically read the rest of the cast. Oh, and honey, she read um, them to Phil. She did. She really went in on some of them. Victoria, Yeah, I just, I think that comment was a tiny bit too far. Um, I think shade is all well and good. I always say this, but I feel like when you attack someone for the way they, you know, for the way they look, especially it's sort of like body issues yeah, or that is a bit too whatever, I think it was a little bit too far. Um, I think, yeah, I just think that comment was maybe the one that tipped it over a little bit, if that makes sense. What did you think of Crystal's decisions? Um, some of them were definitely questionable. Yeah. Um, and some of them were not right. Yes, 100%. Uh, Rivers, can we talk about Rivers? Um, what did she get, the bargain? Don't even get bargain started box? on that. I was absolutely screaming at my screen when I found out that they got that. 100% because I actually thought her looks last week were not that bad at all and they definitely were yeah. not the worst so I was kind of decisions. I'm quite confused just... what you meant because there were some other people that are actually bad um but yeah. We won't name any names. Oh no we won't um, but I think I think everyone knows. <laughs> so moving on to the maxi challenge we have the dragaton exercise yoga thing. This was questionable. I mean, I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, a dance like instructor video. I, I don't know, girl. I don't know. To be honest, it kind of gave me rats of musical vibes back to when you were looking at like lots of different things. Yeah, it came across, in my opinion, a tad too much. Yeah, there's so many things going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just too much, girl, too much. I didn't even know where to look, to be honest. Like, it was just so much. So the first group that was paired up together was Kitty, Crystal, River, and Veronica Green. This is actually quite a strong group. I enjoyed it, personally. Um, I really, really think... I think R Veronica really brought it. I think she kept the group together for this one. Yeah. Crystal, she... I, I found her quite entertaining. To be honest, um, I don't really remember anything that Crystal did. Yeah, and there was a section, like the choreography section, where she was completely just lost behind everyone else. Yeah. Um, which, I don't know, it's not good, not good, but yeah. River and Kitty really brung it this week. And to be honest, I knew they would because they are, like, as you say, singer and musical queens. Um, so it just, it, this challenge worked in their favour. We love the musical theatre, darling. Oh, yes, we do, Mama. Mm -hmm. Downing that tea, girl. Did you just finish? Mine is. Mine isn't. Look, I've got lipstick all over it. I don't know. Oh, am I wearing that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> One of a kind. Fitting. My mouth looks about to die. Bye. Bye. Put it on charge, wait there. So, everyone. Cherry has just left and I've taken over. Uh, 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 I'm feeling... Two thousand years later. Vogue, 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 Vogue. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh my god. Burgen the house down. <laughs> oh, not us. Right, and where are we? So the next group appeared up were Ella, Scarlett, Victoria, and Charity. Now, <laughs> Victoria girl, um, at the beginning of the episode. When she had to sit on a chair for this challenge, because I knew she would have brung it. I think so too. And it's just a shame that she had to sit down. It is. It is. And 
I mean, she brought it even set in tone. Yeah, she did. Charity Girl, she, her performance was questionable. Yep. She, it didn't look like she knew what she was doing. She said that she was playing a character, but girl, no. <laughs> it was not a character. She was looking at the others the whole time. She didn't know the choreo. No, not for me, I'm sorry. No. Yeah, see, I agree. I didn't look like she fit in with the group. I didn't look like she knew, she knew what she was meant to be doing. Can you hear my dog? No. Okay. And lastly, in that group, we had Ella Vidé. Now, she said at the beginning of the episode that she was musical theatre trained. She and did. you could tell. And it did. She really stood did. out to me. It did. She really stood out. Um, from start to finish, she knew what she was doing. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Fair, this gave me the very Jan edit. Do you get what I mean? Mm. Like the yeah. musical theatre to then be like, well, you never won. Yeah, come across as almost like too good, if that yeah. makes sense. Well, not, yeah. I mean, she you know was I mean. too good. Her and Kitty were, I feel like, were the strongest queens in this challenge. Um, let alone all of them were amazing. But I feel like they two just stood out the most for me. And our last group was... Vanity, Electra, and Theresa May. Now, can we talk about Theresa May first? Her Theresa, I am literally obsessed with Theresa May. Me too. I really enjoyed her. This look, her, she just really suits yellow. Like it just looks yeah. so good mm -hmm. on her. Electra, girl, I am that. losing the plot. She was doing too much. She was doing too much, and I think if you're in a group. You shouldn't over like try and overshine them, outshine them, I should say. Uh, it was a bit much. It was a bit much. Lastly, we had Vanity Milan. Now, I think she did really well. Um, the wig, I really did not like the wig. It was that really big orange thing. It just didn't go with the outfit. It didn't go with the theme or the look. No. What did you well, think? Well, obviously, we're going to talk about the runways in a minute, but I don't understand how someone can be bottom because of a wig. Yeah, it's the and whole look. Saying that the wig is too flat or like small when every single queen on that runway was wearing a small wig. They were, yeah, they were. So moving on to the runway, the category was red carpet showstoppers. This category was actually quite class. I loved it. I think the majority of them like brought it. Mm -hmm. I loved it. First up, we had Miss Charity Case. Now, when she stepped out on that runway, I was obsessed. I was gagged, everything. So was like, I. This is giving very, like, Las Vegas showgirl vibes. And it was so nice because I was worried, like, we'd only see sort of, like, the creepy side of her. Yeah. But, but she really, really brought... She brought the glamour side, didn't she? she did. And this outfit, this orange looks absolutely stunning on her. Like she, she looks absolutely amazing. And her makeup, her makeup is beautiful every single time. Um, but next up we have the Queen of Newcastle. It's Theresa May. Oh my God. This headpiece, the wig, the outfit. It's just absolutely beautiful. Obsessed, obsessed. And like, this is what I mean. She's cinched in at the waist. Yeah. And I think it just adds that sort of hourglass figure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, obsessed. Her makeup, the blue is just. I yeah, don't understand I don't how Teresa hasn't won a challenge yet. Every single look she has produced from the entrance line was iconic. From like the entrance look was iconic. Like the first runway, she's absolutely beautiful and she's just such, such an amazing drag queen. I know, and I feel like she did so well in the Maxi Challenge. Yeah. So for her to come out in this, uh, it was, yeah, it shows and obviously, And obviously we've seen her, like, they showed footage of her struggling a bit in the Maxi Challenge. And she overcome, like, came that, and it was so good. Yeah, totally agree with you. Moving on to Miss Electra Fence now. Right. Bye! She... <laughs> Girl, she looked like she was about to go to Hogwarts um, <laughs> cast a spell. Girl, I was not a fan. What about I? I just don't know what to say. I don't. I don't like the wig or the outfit. I mean, I like the outfit, but I feel like not for a red carpet. 
no, it didn't fit the theme. It was giving me very cloak, very cloaky vibes. So moving on to the next queen, we have Ella Day. <laughs> Ella Day. <laughs> this look was absolutely stunning. From the gown to the body, to the wig, to the, the necklaces. Oh, it's mm. absolutely beautiful. This queen, she just brings it every single time. 100%. Like... Again, last week her look was I really liked her look last week. I loved this it. This week she's she's just stepped it up. She really has stepped it up. The I think she got is it I don't know what it is. It's like what? like diamonds on her dress. I can't really I don't tell what they are. Her makeup is absolutely stunning and so it's like I love the jewellery at the neck. It's just really pretty and it adds definitely adds to the look. She's one of the queens that did put a lot of effort into this look. And you can tell. You can tell. You can tell. <laughs> um, but, yeah, really, really happy with this look this week. Next, we have Kitty... Scott Claus. Thanks. Did you Next, forget me? Uh... <laughs> Next, we had Kitty Scott Claus. Now... Uh, uh... I was obsessed with this look. Kitty done so well in the maxi challenge. I don't know how she's not won this week. I know. I totally agree with you. This dress. Oh, my goodness. Again, she's cinched in at that waist and the full dress. I just love it so much. Really? Gloves. Talking about being cinched a lot, but honey, are you cinched tonight? Girl, can we not? You leave me <laughs> out of this. <laughs> But that bow at the back of Kitty's outfit was just, it just added so much to the look. She looked absolutely phenomenal. Amazing. And the wig, I think the judges did mention that it was a bit too flat, but I think it works with this look. I I'm not mad at so. it. I'm not mad. I'm I, really I not mad. A big wig. I mean, I think it would have distracted us more from the outfit. 100%. Next up to the runway, we have Christopher Versace. Now, I am actually in love with this look. I think it's really I, cool, like the, I don't know what it is, but like the thing like rolling right down the back is really pretty. It's really pretty. I don't know if there was any need for the breast, the, 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 the breast plates. I think that just adds, it adds to the look. I, and see, I think it took away from the look. I think it was a bit too intense, like too much. I feel like it was a bit too, like she had it right out. It should have been like in a bit. Yeah. Uh, that's what I think anyway. Now, moving on to River Medway. Girl, I think she brought it this week. I am a I River really fan. Like this outfit. I love it. I'm absolutely obsessed. With the this wig that River was wearing is absolutely stunning and she styles these all herself. Like The wig, I really like everything about this look. I don't really... I don't think I can critique it, you know. I don't um, think there's anything. From going from last week to like the funny side, this is just showing River's glamour and it's absolutely stunning. She brought it. Next up is Scarlet. Now, I'm a. Scarlet. I love this look head to toe. The ginger wig down to the red outfit to jewellery is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's giving me. It's very like Victorian glamour. Yeah. Kind of like Victorian age. I think it's that necklace. I'm obsessed with that necklace. Or it's absolutely stunning. It's amazing, and the rings on the finger, the cut of the dress. Yep. She just looks absolutely stunning. She does, and her makeup every time yet again is absolutely beautiful. I'm I'm a, I'm obsessed with Scarlett. Okay, girl. Let's talk about Vanity now. Oh, she looks so good. See with Mm. I, Do you not agree? I love Vanity. To be honest, I, do, I, I didn't really like this wig with that outfit. I feel like, do you know, like a big, I think a big one would have actually went nice with this because obviously in the post she had like her arms like that. Um, and the outfit is quite big. So like to proportionize it, it would have been really nice to see a bigger wig. Um, I see that. I see that. I think it's the dress itself is gorgeous, is stunning. Oh yeah, it's absolutely um, cool. Vanity kills it every single time. And this, um, the fur, like with the jewels, like the rhinestone all around the neck, it's absolutely stunning. 
My girl, she's got the coins. Oh, she does. <laughs> um, so next up is Veronica Green. No. I love, I absolutely adore this outfit. The wig is a no. Thank you. You literally took the words out of my mouth. I love the dress and she made this herself. <gasps> Did she? That wig, there's something about it that I don't like it. I'm not, oh, I don't know. I, I think oh. if it was big up like that, it would have been absolutely beautiful. It almost feels like, you know, it's volume here and then it's flat up here. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like I don't it at all. A nice red lip would have actually standed out in that. Yeah, it felt very nude. All of it, all of it seemed very one shade. Now, lastly, let's talk about Victoria Scon's runway look. Keep running. Now, girl, I... I'm not sure about this. I'm really not. Wait, I know. Wait. Yes, I'm serious. I know her, should... her knee, but she could not walk down that runway very well at all. Um, eye makeup. The eye makeup look is just a bit much. I, I love Victoria Scott. She's a Cardiff queen. queen. Wales represent, but no, this didn't bring it for me. Why? Why did you like it? I just thought the red with the white wig looked absolutely stunning. And I loved how since she was... Oh, this is moving. Hello, how are you? Um, let's try that again. I absolutely loved this look. I don't, I don't know why I don't like it. I thought like the necklace around her neck to the, the makeup. I thought the makeup was absolutely stunning. It might have been a bit too much, but that's it. Tony, she is camp cabaret queen. Period. And I am all for that. But I think everything that... I don't know... It really shortened her down. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Like, it's I think it's too much. Yeah. Too much. But you're probably used to see, used, used to see yeah. You're probably used to you're probably used to seeing her like with a big big wig. That's probably why it's like a bit different. Because like she's got a really maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what you mean? But I think this gown is absolutely gorgeous. I want one. Hit me up whoever made it. Thanks very much. Um. But now let's but talk about the, the the placement. So obviously, Teresa was safe yet again. What the hell's happening with the judges this year? I have no idea. Um, Absolutely I don't no idea. I don't think Teresa deserves to be safe. Um, I think River, yeah, I think River deserves to be safe. But hell of a day safe, what? I, girl, let's just say that was questionable. I definitely thought she was at the top top. If okay. not, you know, okay, right. maybe not win it, but she was definitely top. Worthy, uh, you know? Obviously, I don't want to discredit anyone, but um, when Crystal won, I was like, really? I thought I, I was Team Kitty from that start of that episode. She slid it this week, and I think she deserved to win. I think Kitty deserved to win as well. But the reason I feel like Crystal won, because I think it was her growth throughout the episode. I think yep. she was really doubting herself at the beginning, and she wasn't sure... How to, you know she wasn't confident, yeah. But I think she did bring it near the end, so maybe that's why they thought she won it. I'm not sure. So the bottom one obviously were Electra and Vanity. Now I don't think Vanity been, should have been there because of the wigs, um. But to be honest, Vanity didn't really stand out this episode, so I can see why she was. I completely agree with you, and I also agree again. Electra being in the bottom, she yeah. was too much for me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and for that lip sync as well that they did together, what the fuck was Electra doing? She started break dancing. I mean, I was like, hi, is always... this directly come dancing or like, RuPaul's Drag Race all... on the top of the stage? Girl, <laughs> I know I'm all for bringing it and the energy, you know, but I mean, like, too much. I don't know what she was doing. It did not fit the song. It didn't, and it didn't even get the beats. I thought she was a dancer. But what do you think about Vanity winning the lip sync? I think, I think they deserve it. I think it clearly shown that she... Honey, you're not the interviewer today. I'm <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was... <coughs> I thought Vanity was quite a clear winner because um, obviously Electra did do too much that wasn't on the beat. Um, Vanity kills it and she wanted to be there and she deserves to be there. So after Vanity won, um, Electra obviously sashayed away um, and then... Victoria got pulled up to the back of the stage, honey, and that was a gag. That was no. like a gag. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
the hell, girl? I can't believe that just happened. This lipstick will be the death of me. What the hell? So, Serenity, after that fall, what was your thoughts on Victoria getting pulled up to the stage? Girl, I was so worried. I kind of knew it was going to happen. Like a eureka moment. Yeah, I think from the beginning of the episode, you can kind of tell yeah. she was, she just wasn't well enough. And I think, yeah. So obviously RuPaul said that we're going to find out from the doctors if she's going to come back, if she's allowed back. Do you think she's going to be back? No, I do not think she'll be back. Um, she'll be back for season four, but I'm happy because I get more fame queens on the seasons. I'm really excited her, for her to come back. Yep. Maybe like season four, I'm more than happy with that. And you know. hopefully she's not the only AFAB queen on the, the season next time. No, hopefully this has shown the public that, you know, there aren't just men yeah. in wigs. It's not just that, it is, you know, trans representation, there's female trans representation, non-binary, there's all sorts of drag. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really good and it's setting the bar for yeah. you know those other sorts of drag exactly and it's also good for the younger generation to like because obviously they just see drag where he says men and wigs but now that's not the case and obviously we've got mech kelly sonique love and all that it's like really good for the younger queens to be like well actually this is the new generation and the new drag and i absolutely love it and i'm so happy that victoria's gone got casted on season three i'm excited to see her back hopefully for season four um but yeah so are you excited for next week's episode of drag race of course I am. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen. Anything could happen. All of the I queens seem so... I'm usually like a Reddit queen that checks up, see who goes home, but I don't actually know this week. So Totally. And all of the queens are so strong. Some more than others, but I think the majority are really strong queens. So I'm just, yeah, really excited to see what happens. Same. Well, Serenity, I just want to quickly thank you for coming on, joining me this week of Red Berry Reviews. And who knows, I might see you here again soon. Maybe, but thank you so much for having me. It's been amazing. I'll have you back anytime, you never know. Um, before we leave, Serenity, where can we find you on Instagram and all your other socials? So you can find me on Instagram and TikTok. My name is Serenity The Drag. Um, subscribe, yes. follow. Any love is appreciated, my dears. Yep. But yeah, that is it for this week's episode of Red Berry Reviews. If you enjoyed it, there will be a new one dropping next Wednesday for Drag Race UK Season 3, Episode 3, um, with another special guest. So tune in for that. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also make sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok at Cherry West Official. Love you all. Bye. Bye.